Hey guys, it's been a couple of days since our last tutorial, but we're back with another RMA Fire tutorial. Let's go ahead and check out a really cool tip, very short but useful, on how to use meta balls and magnets to displace geometry here in Houdini. We're gonna start with a basic grid. Let's jump in into our grid and let's increase this to about 100 so that we have a good amount of geometry to play with. Um, then what I'm gonna do is drop down a magnet, um, attach my geometry to the left input and here I'm gonna use a metal ball and attach it right here. So something that I like to use is controlling the metal ball um, with a transform after connecting it. That way um, we know that our meta ball is in the center and then we can move it around. Right, so what I'm gonna do is select my magnet and then wherever I place my meta ball, you can displace the geometry. So you can pull it upwards, down, you know, and you can also control it by scaling, scaling your geometry down, upwards. So right now I'm only affecting the Z, the, uh, the Y axis, right? Um, here we go and then we can also do that to all of the angles and then we can do rotations as well so if you look at it you'll see how I'm gonna be deforming my my geometry and then I can grab this transform and move this to control how much because it's based on the proximity of our meta ball to our geometry so say we were to place it here and then we were to transform it downwards then as you can see we have very interesting procedural control over the way that our geometry is being tweaked and when we can place it here and move it around and it's gonna affect the geometry in whatever place we do it right um, another cool tip that you can use um, is by changing the weight so the weight determines the amount of intensity in which this sort of um, displacement is gonna happen right and then you can also change the field radius actually not that there's the the kind of um, effect changes based on the kernel functions that you add to it um, and then you can take this a step further by merging multiple so right here we've got one and then a second meta ball so if we look at them like this we've got okay bear with me one second meta ball so we got our first meta ball then we're going to transform transform it here then we're gonna copy and paste it then transform it here and then once we merge them we're gonna have two metal balls and then once we put them onto this then you can see we've got two different displacements here and then you can tweak this and kind of put them together and then another thing that you can do is transform it here center it and then if we transform it here and we do sort of a dollar f expression we're gonna get an animation that does that and then I'm just gonna place down an all here so that we don't have to see it like that and see like the the preview mode and then you can take it a step farther by adding a trail here and then trail length. Let me 
see our trail length. We want this to be our trail increment. So I'm just creating more metables. And I'm just gonna place a keyframe here and another keyframe right here. here we go boom boom and boom and then you can also control this by controlling it by the trail increments length so we can reduce the amount of increments and increase the trail length you can see so something like that so right now we can even make the trail length smaller actually longer here trail increments length there we go so the trail increments length is gonna determine how long it is and then the trail length um, determines how many more metaballs we're copying based on the on the increment on the amount of distance that we're traveling so this is cool because it's just kind of like a fun way A fun procedural way of displacing your geometry and then you can also see that right here it's much more intense because that's where there's more metaballs so that's gonna change dramatically based on the amount of trails that we're leaving behind so if you leave less then it's gonna have less So this sort of this meta ball works similar to the magnet tool in Zero Cinema. Um, you can use it to move geometry around, to displace it, and um, and it's very, very, very procedural and very easy to use. You can see how this is also being tweaking it in different ways. So just go ahead and take it for a spin, try and see what things you can come up with and I'd love to see them if you guys can share the links. Alright, so thank you guys very much for watching and we'll be back with more.